Hello and welcome to the program. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has proposed a bill to parliament which would ban dual citizenship. This puts a vast number of people who are part of the Ukrainian diaspora worldwide in a very tough spot. Currently, having dual citizenship in Ukraine is against the law. However, the regulations against those who do hold multiple passports are rarely applied. Joining us in the studio to discuss the issue is Denis Monastirsky. He's a lawyer from the Ukrainian Institute for the Future. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. So the obvious question there is, what's the difference between the new proposed bill by President Poroshenko and the old one that Ukraine already has? Okay, first of all, uh, I want to explain what means citizenship. Citizenship is the connect between uh, state and citizen. And uh, we have the same obligation. I have the obligation, the duty to Ukraine, and Ukraine also has the uh, obligation to me. And um, uh, Ukraine has no uh, strong position uh, about dual uh, citizenship. I mean that uh, from one side uh, we can read in the Constitution that uh, in Ukraine we have the single citizenship. But uh, the special law, uh, the law about citizenship, uh, explain that uh, it is uh, the uh, single citizenship means that uh, no one region can have their own citizenship. For example, uh, you cannot be a citizenship of Lviv, for example, or Kyiv, or Khmelnytsky. Uh, but it uh, don't mean that uh, we, you, cannot be a citizen, for example, Britain, or uh, Australia, or another country. So it's very specific in that sense. Yes, uh, but uh, in uh, the same time, uh, we have uh, this in legislation. Uh, we have ban of uh, double uh, citizenship, of dual citizenship, but we have no the mechanism for uh, loss of citizenship, and it is a problem. And now, President Poroshenko um, proposed to uh, solve this problem. And he proposed uh, to establish mechanism uh, terms for losing of Ukrainian citizenship. But where does this place uh, millions of Ukrainian Canadians, Ukrainian uh, Americans, uh, etc.? Where does this put them in? This puts them in a very tough spot, doesn't yes. it? Uh, I think it was a great problem. Uh, for our Ukrainian Americans, Ukrainian uh, who lives in Ukraine but have the second uh, citizenship, for example, uh, of Hung Hungary, uh, Poland, Romania, etc. Because uh, uh, it will give uh, the mm, mm, uh, strong mechanism to uh, avoid uh, these citizens from Ukraine. And it's a great problem, I think, in the future. And what is why uh, our uh, civil society in Ukraine, uh, non-government organization, uh, have position to uh, ban this project, uh, ban this uh, bill in parliament. And I suppose uh, we have not this uh, legal, this uh, uh, law, this bill in the future. So you don't think it's actually going to get passed? Yes, uh, I suppose uh, this bill is will not be a law in future. Okay, but how do you see people from different countries that do currently hold dual citizenship and who are coming to Ukraine to help Ukraine to bring aid, to bring supplies, to uh, volunteer, to work in non-governmental organizations which are actually helping the government develop. What is going to happen to them? Um, I suppose that uh, this bill will not uh, allow and uh, I think uh, if uh, we have the same uh, legal norms um, it will be problem for them, a uh, real problem. and. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I um, 
can uh, explain and uh, we can different uh, example of dual uh, citizenship in another country. For example, Russian Federation, uh, for example, our Euro European uh, neighborhoods who has the dual citizenship. And it's not problem uh, for them, and I suppose it's not problem for us. I uh, can say that uh, mm, may we have uh, it's about five million people in Ukraine, Ukrainian citizen. Uh, uh, they have the foreign citizenship. So dual or multiple citizenships? Yes, yes. And uh, you know that, uh, for example, today the general prosecutor of Ukraine uh, showed us the copies of uh, uh, passports, uh, Canadian passports of Mr. Artemenko. And it's who also... Is, who, is, who is Mr. Artemenko? Will you remind our viewers? Uh, it, it is the people's deputy of Ukraine and uh, he showed his uh, Canadian passports. And it's a challenge for Ukraine, for uh, state bodies, uh, what uh, we can do. Uh, I want to, to say about um, the treats uh, from uh, dual citizenship. Uh, I mean about access to state... Um, um, uh, state, sec state secret, because if the foreign citizenship, for example, uh, Artemenka, Canadian citizenship, uh, has uh, the access to a state secret, it's a problem for Ukraine, for uh, nationality and uh, for our country. And I think that uh, President Poroshenko uh, should think uh, about um, this problem how we can avoid to access the foreign citizenship to state secret. But wouldn't it make more sense to perhaps regulate this uh, dual, dual citizenship proposed bill? Perhaps that um, uh, people in power or people in governmental positions shouldn't hold dual citizenships? because that would potentially put Ukraine's uh, security at risk, as you say, if that's the biggest worry that Mr. Poroshenko has, instead of making it a wider law, which, which is going to affect um, hundreds of thousands of people, basically. I think uh, we have this bill now, because uh, we have uh, the case of Nasirov, I mean his foreign uh, passports uh, of Great Britain, for example. Uh, we have the case of Artemenka, and uh, I think uh, Poroshenko uh, wants to show that he uh, is doing something now. Uh, he um, proposed some reaction of our society. But uh, on my mind, it's uh, a not good reaction on this. Question. Exactly, because civil society organizations from the states, from, from, from Canada, they have come out against and are opposing the bill. Voice of America today, uh, recently, they, they had an article where they clearly said that a lot of people are against this, this bill. People who are helping Ukraine, people who are collecting money, so on. So uh, how will this influence potentially foreign aid coming from these groups outside of Ukraine? Maybe uh, we can uh, lose the help from another state. Uh, we can lose support from uh, United States firstly, from Europe. And uh, I think uh, we uh, lose, somebody will uh, lose the uh, citizenship of Ukraine but we can lose the support from uh, our diaspora, for example. And uh, for in our uh, internal case, uh, it, will can make made, uh, it will make a big problem for us. How do you see this story developing? How, how do you see this, this ending? How do, you, how do you actually see this um, uh, coming out later on, and how do you see the Ukrainian government reacting when perhaps if the bill is passed, that you know thousands of people will will be quite upset about that because they will be in, in, in a very tough spot. Um, I repeat that uh, on my mind, uh, this bill uh, will not uh, be a law, a Ukrainian law. 
I think uh, this bill like a, a test of our reaction, reaction of society, reaction of uh, American, of diaspora on this question. And uh, maybe President um, um, make uh, the decision, uh, the President uh, will uh, decide refuse of this bill. I see. Very interesting. Now, um, this this bill is is more or less uh, uh, what what the old law was all about. But do you think this is a, a result that the old law, which which said that it was legal to hold dual dual citizenships, do you think this is a result of there not being uh, enough action against people who do hold them and? are caught with with uh, dual citizenships in in power now and uh, this is basically a response to that okay uh, you know um, this law uh, i mean uh, our uh, legislation now uh, it's a compromise uh, between interest of ukraine uh, we uh, maybe half of our people uh, wants to have the single citizenship uh, but uh, this citizen uh, as a rule uh, never uh, visit to Europe to another country even to another uh, town of Ukraine and uh, we can uh, position we have position of our foreign friends from another country which uh, can help us uh, only if we uh, have some guarantee of uh, the interest that we, uh, like uh, Ukrainian, like a state, uh, we are interested in it. Okay, so, well, thank you so much for joining me today, Mr. Mona Sterski. It was a pleasure having you in the studio. Uh, we've been discussing the proposed dual citizenship ban bill, which has been proposed by uh, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. You're watching UATV. Yeah.